That being said, for a merchant in general, he... I mean, that, that, that's pretty impressive. Like, I'm the Dragonborn Legend, and I had enough trouble. Mainly because it's me. Being the Dragonborn, honestly, can only help me so far. Or so much before, you know, my stupidity takes over. Um, so I have to be over there somewhere. Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here. I think I might be cheating, actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop down. Alright. Um, well, Arissa's fighting. Yo, yeah, Arissa, you have fun with that. Okay, I didn't think I could come back here. This kind of... From this angle, it looked like it was just gonna be an end, a dead end, but... That'll show me. Oh, now... Oh, there's a lever. Alright, what did that do? Marissa, what did you fight? What did you kill? Well, assuming that you killed it and not vice versa. Uh, so... Wait, so his book is... Right... There. Somewhere. Right on the other side of this wall. Marissa, you have to get out of the way, sweetheart, please. You're not my sweetheart, but, you know, I just say it as a term of endearment. We're friends. I always say it sarcastically, like, sweetheart, listen to me. You can only do so much before I get annoyed. I don't know what that, um, that switch did, by the way, that lever. Lever, if you want to say it that way. Um, let me head back up here for a second. Let me take a look around. Oh, hey, Falmer. How you doing? Oh, I missed. You just had to backpedal, huh? I found a mod that I'm definitely going to install sometime soon. And it might be my new favorite mod. And it's a very small mod too, but I just love it. Because it... it I don't even know why it's a thing in the game. It's, um... Because I often take issue with the fact that... Uh, enemies can just magically, like, ju jump dodge to the side when you're going to shoot an arrow at them, or in the process of uh, shooting an arrow at them. And they shouldn't be able to, but for some reason, you know, no! bandits and other enemies in Skyrim are just goddamn ninjas. And there was a, um, a mod that removes that, and I think it was essentially called uh, No Enemy Ninja Dodge, which, not not the most, not, not the best name, and I could have, I'm sure that's something better could have um, been done for a name, but at the same time, it's a small utility mod, so the name isn't the most important thing. Like I said, nitpicky. If people were this nitpicky with, you know, the stuff I make, which, I mean, some of them probably are, but that'd be horrible. Oh, get out of here. I just want to knock you off the edge. Can I just... You're on the edge. Get off the edge. There we go. I'm on the edge of glory. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's dead. Which, after 200 years, I guess, makes sense. Antique, cereal, cereally, cer I don't know how to say it. Cereally wine. I'll take that. Uh, apple pie. Oh, he's got a map and a journal. Let's take a look at the journal first. Journal of Norbert Lale's Anvil Cereal Deal. Third of Morning Star. It's two weeks now that I have left Anvil. Do I feel a little homesick? I sure do, but my desire of adventuring and exploring is greater. Oh, sorry, just burped a little. The hero of Kavach changed my life and awakened my true adventure spirit. I liked being a merchant, and in some ways, I will always remain one, but now I turned the page prematurely. Wait, what? Okay, I was confused. For some reason, I thought that I turned the page prematurely, even though that wouldn't make any sense. Seventh of Morningstar, so, you know, four days later, I've arrived to the Gerald Mountains and... Spend the night in Bruma. Uh, I've arrived. Okay, grammar's not perfect. I, I think it would be spent the night, but, you know, once again, nitpicky. Uh, now I'm on the road against Skyrim. On the road again! Cyrodiil is a great place to live, but it lacks of something every adventurer's heart begins to pound. Dwarven ruins. Also, there should be an apprentices on... Uh, apostrophe, not apprentices. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, apostrophe on adventurers. Uh, Dwarven ruins. It's said that Skyrim has many of them. We'll see. 13th of Morningstar. Finally crossed the mountains and arrived to Riften. Nice little city. Lots of merchants. Time to relax a little and get some rumors. Uh, 19th of Morningstar. As expected, Skyrim has several dwar Dwarven ruins. All the ones with really long names with all the syllables and stuff. And so on. I'm not... 
interest in it in these i'm looking for ruins totally forgotten where even the name is unknown i will have to do a more profound search 29th of morningstar i've met an old scholar of the college of winterhold he seems to be very well informed on the dwemer theme and pointed me to an old legend telling of an ancient dwemer ruin right at the border to cyrodiil near falkreath its name should be urzengold bolt the whole story sounds believable tomorrow i'll pack my bags for falkreath Six the path fire. Arrived to Falkreath and asked around a little bit, but nobody knows of a Dwemer ruin nearby. Oh well, let's write back home and tell them I'm fine and on my way of adventuring. Uh eleventh of Hothfire. After tripsing around after tripsing around uh tripsing around Falkreath for days, I finally got a hint from a tr from a retired miner who used to work at the Dawnstar Mines. He told me that his father, a miner as well, always narrated of an old mine where Dwemer artifacts were found. He recalled the name of the mine, it's Dark Light Mine, and its location is very near the Cyrodiil border. Ironically, you should not have an apostrophe on uh, the second it's, because it's, it's possessive, not it is. That's grammar. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just doing grammar lessons at this point. Very promising. Tomorrow I'll head for the mine... Uh, to see for myself. Twelfth of Hothfire found the mine instantly. Indeed, its location, once again, no apostrophe, is, uh, or there should be no apostrophe, is very close to the border. Ironic that I came to Skyrim and it was literally right past the border. It's what I was looking for all along. Um, I forgot what I was reading. Took a look inside. It's abandoned, dark, and not really inviting. But what I expected, this is not a sightseeing trip. The uh, 15th of Hothfire, it's fine to... It's hard. Wow, I can't read. It's hard to advance in here with all the rubble. It, it's a moonstone mine. I found some ore spots, but that's not what I'm looking for. No trace of Dwemer buildings or ruins so far, but creepy frostbite spiders. Oh, hey, we saw those. At least they're small. I've heard of giant ones killing you instantly. Yeah, you know, if you're afraid of spiders, Skyrim might not be the game for you. Or any fantasy game, for that matter. 19th of Hothfire. Finally, I found the evidence that I'm on the right track, Dwemer architecture wherever I look. Now it's evident I've discovered Erzingenbolt. 22nd of Hothfire. Although Kara Hill from the Anvil Mage Guild was just a quick weekend affair to me. Oh. I have to be very thankful towards her now. She taught me the Breathe Underwater spell. Which, okay, wrong which. It should be W-H-I-C-H. Once again, it's me. Uh, I used to cross the Underwater Labyrinth and the Chameleon spell, who turned very useful to sneak through the lines of dwarven automatons and those strange bowed creatures who live in here. Also, for that matter, um, turned very useful? I don't know if that's correct. Who turned very useful? The chameleon spell, which turned out to be very useful, essentially. Uh, I found a nice spot on the upper level of the cave and we'll make camp here now. Oh, hey, that's where he is. I'm exhausted. Adventuring is hard work. Yeah, you got that right, buddy. 24th of Hothfire. I looked around a little and found out that the door to the next room is barred with poles controlled by levers. Oh, okay, never mind. I think we passed that already. I found three levers, but not the fourth. I better draw a map of the ones I found before I forget their locations. Oh, okay. I found the f I found one of the levers. Uh, I, I didn't see the other one, so damn it. Uh, 26th of Hothfire. I'm ill. Don't know the cause of it. Maybe one of those spiders was infected. I don't have a cure with me. The only drinkable left is the good Cyrilly wine I brought from Cyrodiil. Oh well, let's have a drink or two. Maybe it helps. Fifth of Sun Dusks. It didn't help. Several days have passed, but I'm still not good. I diagnosed myself with severe brain rot and rattles. Oh no! Mighty Finister, I beg you, help your unworthy servant. Seventh of Sun's Dusk. Too weak, too right. At least Erzengimbolt, I found it. All right, we'll take that, and now, all right, so, so that's him, one, two, three, and he doesn't know where the fourth one is, so, okay, um, okay, all right. I don't know, I, I was wondering if I should say something about the, the map, but I'm not. 
Alright, so... So is this... Oh, hi there! Alright. So... Alright. Just trying to get a lay of the land. Get a general idea of what I'm doing. So let's head back over this way. It's a very narrow uh, path right there. Wanted to make sure I didn't fall off. Got another spider worker over here. Alright. So, nothing here. Um, oh, alright. Want to just hut. There we go. Stuck the landing. So there's the door. There's the door. I found one of four levers already. And really doesn't look like any of the bars have gone away, so... Oh no, this bottom set has. Very good. Um, let me just take a quick look around, then I'll pull up his map again. And then I'll compare it to the Skyrim's map as well, just... Oh. What's with the green? Oh, well... Oh, are the... Okay, I think I get it. The levers are uh, color-coordinated, it would seem, because the first one was by the purple light, and now this one is the green light. Let's just check to make sure that this had one of the things go away. All right, yeah, so now this uh, row on the left here has gone away. I think the next best place to check. I'm gonna see if I can do this without consulting um, the in-game map. I think I might be able to. So let's uh, head up here because this way would seem promising. Oh god, that head is really creepy actually. Look at the eyes! That's, cre That's creepy, I'm sorry, but I was not expecting that. It was weird. It was really, really weird. Okay, so here's a lever. Um, that might have been... Also... Take a look at this. The, um... Oh, sort of an invisible wall or collision mesh me. right here, because this is as far as I can go into the wall. Oh, I really don't like that because oh, it makes it a much narrower path than it should be. Arissa, please, do not push me off, alright? That would be horrible. I can't remember the last time we saved. Or the last time I saved. I can't really blame you in that matter now, can I? Uh. Alright. Let me just think for a second. Hmm. So now I wonder if those were... So let's see. So that's where he was on the map. All right. And now let me get out of here. Inventory. Um, Herbert's Herbert Lale's note. Norbert Lale's map. So let's see. So I found. So that's where he was. I'm, I, I just pointed to my screen. That doesn't help me at all. So the me is where he was. I found the first one. I found the second one. And I found that third one. I think I found the third one. All right. Um, let me just double check. So that would have been right around there, so I think that is in fact okay, so I have found the three that he found already, so now I'm shit out of luck, because I was hoping that I found the fourth one and yes, I intentionally just dropped onto this, I don't know why necessarily maybe I, I, I kind of figured that maybe if I was over here, I might be able to get an idea of where that last switch was, but I think I'm just gonna die. Hopefully not. Okay, no, I can ease my way down well enough. 
Um, so this is how I got up to him. I assume that the fourth switch might be somewhere down here. I assume. I could be wrong, but... Hmm. Okay. Not entirely sure where to find it, though, because... I found the three switches that he had found, which kind of leaves me in this point of... Not knowing where I'm supposed to be looking, essentially. If I feel that this is just dragging on for too long without me finding the switch, I'll just... Cut and then switch back to once I find the switch. So... Alright, I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna go back to the start of the room just to see if I overlooked anything. That third switch really didn't seem to conform to my... Um, I think Arissa just got hurt. Didn't really conform to my theory about the color coordination, which is too bad because I liked my idea about that. Alright, so nothing... Nothing here, it would seem. Hmm, alright. Just double checking every nook and cranny. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Here, here we go. We got a... Got a Dwemer sphere. I mean, not anymore. Oh, no! Orissa! Oh, you got hurt. Also, I'm getting hurt. Yeah, no, I see you up there. How you doing? Are you missing me? Yeah, she's missing, all right. Wait. See, two can play your magic game. Damn warmonger. Wait. You're on fire. How do you feel? Warm? I would imagine so. Wait. Uh, okay, I'm out of magic, so... Well, alright. You win. You win the magic fight. No more magic. Unfortunately for you, I have other weapons in my, uh... My vast array of weapons. So... I'm kind of assuming that the fourth, um... Lever's gonna be somewhere up there where that Falmer was. So that begs the question, how do I get up there now? I don't know if I can from here. I think I um, might have to go around, all right. Just watch, I'm going to do this the completely wrong way as well. Which is entirely possible, because it's me. Like, let's... Yeah, you always have to keep that in mind, it's me, so who knows. Uh, if the lever isn't over there, then I will probably just cut to whatever I can find it, but I kind of assume that it's going to be somewhere over there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to climb on this because this is the only real way I can see getting over there. Although maybe I can't. Alright, no. I may have just shot down my theory immediately. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, oh, invisible-ish wall. Invisible-ish wall. Get back up. Get back up. Jump, you stupid bastard. God. There we go. Alright. Uh. So do we have... Oh. Yep, yeah, alright. Ugh. Alright, I gotta be careful about that corner right there. Ugh. Alright, I am... There we go. Oh. Uh, Alright, I am just really bad on this ledge. I'll be back in a few. Oh, alright. So, by mashing just jump and run, I was able to get over here. Honestly, I think this is the way I was supposed to get over here. I, I really do. I really think so. Shaman's key, that's obviously important, so clearly I did have to get over here, as I believed. Um, hopefully, there it is. Also, I like that even though the column that I was resting on is broken, that the lever still is operational. Although, granted, I don't know how Dwemer stuff worked. If levers like this would be steam-based or what? I don't know what technology they had. I would imagine steam-based because if you see their automatons there, they seem to be steam-based. In addition to 
obviously some sort of soul magic because of the soul gems and everything but I'm not an expert on Elder Scrolls lore I just have a somewhat I have a somewhat basic understanding leaning more towards I, w I once once again I wouldn't say expert but I would like to think that I know a little bit more about the Elder Scrolls as a whole more so than say the average person who plays Skyrim could be wrong because bear in mind that I still never played um Oblivion or well no I played Oblivion what am I saying that I never played uh, Arena or Daggerfall even though I own both of them I have them on uh, on disc because I have the Elder Scrolls anthology but I just never played them because well, I, I mean, I started with Skyrim, and then I eventually went back to both uh, Oblivion and Morrowind. And uh, I, I like Morrowind a lot, I like Oblivion a lot. I really love Oblivion, honestly, so I don't know why I'm just saying like. But going back to Arena or Daggerfall, I just feel is a bit of a stretch. Or at least for me, I think it would be. That's not what I want. I want healing. Alright, sweet. So I think now we just need to return to, um... The guy. 